belt tensioner. Someone who shall remain nameless, not this one I might add, but on the uh, group, has been doing a bit of maintenance and took the five screws out the back and now has this collection of parts and doesn't know how to put them back together again. So this is a quick video to show you how to reassemble these back into some kind of working belt tensioner. Um, it's going to be a bit awkward. I have to spin things round and mess about a bit. Um, but basically to assemble this thing um, you need to start off with the back piece. The bit that had the five screws in it that was holding it all together perfectly fine and functioning and were removed and then the whole thing collapsed in a heap on the floor. That piece you need to put on first. So Let me just see if I can get this camera somewhere near, which is about here. Right, so this piece, um, the back piece, that wants to go on first. That's held in place by this particular screw. Come on camera, wake up. It's the sort of biggest out of the five and has a little washer. So we put that in place on the end of the arm and put that screw in first. Do -do 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 -do. Gone. Make sure to put the washer back on um, and don't over tighten it. So that's the first piece on. Then we'll go around to the front. You have to excuse this camera work, but That will do. Right, the next piece we want is the adjuster part, the metal pin, and the wheel. Come on, camera, wake up. So we'll get the belt and put the, the wheel inside the belt. This bracket part fits over the wheel. You have to spread it apart a bit and the wheel will actually click into place just inside it. See it's actually held in there, there's a little indentation. Then the metal pin goes through the hole. Then that sits inside there for now. Next we need these two parts. Now this part with the like zigzaggy bit, you need to wind that screw out so that it's quite well up, like so. And that fits in the end of this plastic piece here. And then this other little square piece sits just in front of it, like so. And then you push the whole thing Ooh. back 
back in here. Now let me see if I can zoom in a bit. Right. The two pieces is the little blue um, gate thing and then there's the black piece which is made of two pieces. The screw goes into one and the other one's just pressed on it like so. The bit that's got the screw goes towards the hot end. Screws into this piece here and that goes that way. So that goes in the, the black U piece. The gate piece goes next to it. And then this is a fiddly bit. You need to put that in like that. So you see the screw here is above this this piece here and the gate piece is inside that little lip there. There's the same on the bottom, there's a little lip it fits inside of. So once you've got all those pieces in like that, keep them there. Get the front and put the front on. Now the front, the belt might snag in it and stop you getting the front on. So you need to wiggle the belt about until it just clicks into place. Did you hear that click then when it all just clicked on? So once that's clicked on, you go, oh God, I'm dragging the printer off the bloody stand now. Once that's clicked in place, you put the screws back in the back of it, the remaining four screws. Once I've got one in, it'll hold the whole thing together. These are just threaded into plastic, so don't be over tightening them or you'll just strip the threads out of the plastic. That's two. And then the last one here. Four. So then hopefully we can find it again. Zoom out a bit. We'll put the Allen key in there and tighten that up. You can see the belt is lifting when I do it. The X belt is very awkward to to check the tension of because you can barely get 
hold of the thing to, to test it. This doesn't actually look too bad. Let's see if I can pull it out. I'm just going to tighten it a wee bit more. That feels about right. So that's how to reassemble it. Hopefully you were able to see that. I won't know until I put this video into the editor and see. I'll probably end up having to reshoot the whole thing again and take it apart. But that's how to put it together, basically, if you could see what I was doing. Bye-bye now.